Hey folks, this is Dunk again. This is gonna be my very quick overview of a patch 2.4.2, especially for Demon Hunter. And as you can see, they revamped spike traps completely, but they're still completely useless. And they removed the damage buff rune for spike traps. As well as they changed most of the abilities that give us some damage buff that can be used in team player and multiplayer. Like wind chill from multi-shot, you have seen that, and marked for death, and uh, that's all diminished a little bit. And this is the bad one, this is the very bad one. They destroyed Calamity completely. The rune, uh, the, the weapon now casts the equipped rune of uh, Marked for Death you have and you can't profit from the effect anymore. It doesn't work anymore. They also added a weapon that buffs spike traps but it's still useless. Just completely forget about spike traps. It doesn't make any sense to use them. All right, that's about it here. And so this doesn't does mean that builds that we can use don't change too much, but there is something new here. We have new levels, new torment levels, up to 13, which equals to greater rift 60. And this has some impact on the builds that we can use or that we have used in previous patches for farming. And this is one of them. This is the Trail of Cinder spec that I uh, created. I think it's even two patches ago now. It still works pretty well. It's very fast speed farming um, with just Strafe as main damage dealer and full fire gear. That's, uh, I have a guide for that. You can click that if you like that. It's still fine if you go up to Torment 10, maybe Torment 11 if you have very, very good gear and high Paragon. Um, but it is definitely outpaced by uh, a build that comes later. Okay, and that setup um, that is faster is also with Strafe, but this time it's with physical damage, full physical gear, and Fan of Knives in the skill bar. You can see that there. And this Fan of Knives, it's designed to kill elites extremely fast, like in one go, boom. And this is what makes it faster than the fire one. Um, this setup is extremely fun to play in Torment 10. And uh, in the next patch, 2.4.2, uh, you can use that up to Torment 13, but uh, your speed will suffer a bit. If I go with my gear in Torment 13, my clear times are around two minutes, maybe a little bit faster. These numbers will change, of course. Um, unfortunately, it is not the fastest way to farm the highest Torment level anymore because this build has amazing speed, but the damage is limited due to uh, it being a build that is defined by the damage of Pain Enhancer and Fan of char Knife's Recharges. It is limited and that limit is unfortunately set a little bit lower than Torment 13. You can do it, but something else is more efficient there. Alright, and then we also have the build here that I came up with last patch. I call it uh, De Death's Breath Hunter because you can use it to farm Death's Breath pretty fast. And it's a bad, uh, <laughs> bad situation here to do it, but you can see the elites are dying. You get like up to three Death's Breath in Torment 10, and for Torment 10 it's actually pretty nice. You can have uh, clear times even below um, one minute if you have a lucky rift and good damage and know how to play that properly. And so in the end you can average up to like uh, 800 Death's Breath per hour if you have mediocre Paragon levels and with higher you can of course do a little bit more. Um, but unfortunately with Torment 13 this might not be the fastest way to farm Death's Breath anymore because Torment 13 offers more Death's Breath per kill and so the chances are very high. I didn't test it extensively, but I expect it to be like that. The chances are high that we even get more Death's Breath by farming Torment 13 in the fastest uh, solo farming spec that we have and that we have to fall back to because all the other options I showed you now are inferior in Torment 13. Unfortunately, the no new Torment 13 reduces the diversity of builds that we have and that we can and this is one of the uh, options that you can use here. I don't have a own guide for that because so many people are doing multi-shot guides and it's almost the same all the time. You can see I don't have a, a convention of elements uh, sign in my buff bar. This is because I don't use it. I prefer to use the obsidian ring of the zodiac so I can reset my cooldowns extremely fast. And uh, that allows me to have some more consistent damage. 
and I also can move a little bit faster because I do not deplete my uh, discipline that fast or well I deplete it fast but I can recover it faster with preparation and this is G60 here on live service I'm not on PTR on that video but G60 that is torment 13 like each torment uh, level adds like five uh, levels in the greater rifts system so Torment 11 is uh, G50, Torment 12 is G55, and Torment 13 is G60. And you can see this has good speed here. Of course, I have high damage and high paragon for that. But um, if I compare it to my own gear and my own doings here in this level, it is the fastest. Fire multi shot is the fastest way to farm Torment 13 in the next patch. Which is, as I said, and I repeat it again, this is very unfortunate. I, I dislike that because even for bounties now, uh, there was a vi variation of my um, of the physical strafe setup that was extremely fast in bounties in T10, but it has not enough damage in Torment 13 anymore. That is very unfortunate. So, what about the changes for uh, solo setups? This is one of the solo setups that just came up uh, late in the last patch and it is extremely powerful the highest clear with this setup here is 97 by a guy with low well lowish paragon levels he's got if i remember correctly he's got below 2000 paragon levels on non-season and it has the same damage potential as the standard legacy of nightmares setup with fan of knives I call this embodiment of laziness, I have a guide for that as well, you can check that out if you want. And if you play Season 7, this might be your best bet to have some, some saying at the leaderboards, because gearing it is extremely much, very very easy. It's extremely easy compared to the Legacy of Nightmare setup, because you have no need for, legend, uh, for ancient items. The only thing that should or must be ancient, of course, is the weapon because it makes so much difference. But all the other items don't have to be ancient. It's not Legacy of Nightmares. Alright, um, let's jump to the next setup that is also unchanged. Unfortunately, mm, no builds that we have do change for real. And that is the Strafe Legacy of Nightmare setup. Um, this one. I guess you all have seen the clears that were done with that by Vudiju and some others and you have probably also seen his guide if you're interested in solo pushing. This is a very strong setup but the gameplay is a bit weird, it's awkward, it's uh, not very intuitive because you have to stay at low health all the time and when you go up like this if you uh, get a health globe in or something else like a level up which is basically the worst thing that can happen to you during the rift. Um, then you have to drop your health again and this is sometimes very very annoying and the gameplay It's cool if you can master it. I cleared G97 so far with that. I expect me to clear a bit higher in the next days uh, Because I started pushing again. Unfortunately uh, This is not this is not for everyone. It's a nice setup and you can go do good rankings with that but the gearing is horrible because you have to have all items in Ancient and all these items have to be perfect if you want to have a saying in the leaderboards. I would suggest if you are not a pro gamer, go for the other set for the Legacy uh, for the Embodiment of Laziness. See, that was the clear. Then we have some more builds that uh, have emerged during the last um, era or patch or season or however you want to call it. And this is a support Demon Hunter, for example. There are two variations of that. This one that I use here is designed to pull monsters in with the uh, legendary gem called Boyarski's chip because it taunts enemies and then they follow you and this is pretty nice if you want to run in speed levels um, depending the level will be depending dependent on the power of your wizard in this case and uh, you can pull monsters with that like you hit them and then they just follow you you are not dragging them or throwing them around like the barb is doing and um, in this case I actually replaced the barbarian and it works pretty nice. It's good damage. There's another vi variation which adds a little bit more damage, um, but it's mm, not ideal in this patch. We will see in the next patch. Both setups might be interesting in the next patch um, because the utility of letting those monsters follow you with the Boyarski's chip, that is still there. It will still work in the next patch. At least I'm pretty sure it will. 
And last but not least, which is something very good, that stupid fight the corner meter with the twister wizard will be gone. Because the twisters will not stack anymore. The moment twisters are stopping uh, on an edge or somewhere else, they will just vanish and you won't do damage anymore. And this is really cool. We will see how the meta evolves. There are chances that even the Demon Hunter will have a saying in the, um, in the DPS leaderboards for team runs. And the meta has still to develop. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you have some fun in the next patch with something else than that weird gameplay here. Alright, cheers and bye.